Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back for all you loyal subscribers who have stuck around even though I have not um, posted a video in forever and a day. Life has just gotten in the way and being a mom of all these little kids has been very time consuming. Anyways, today's video I was debating about doing because I just didn't know if I should do it or if I should not and just message people that have been asking me about it but I just figured hey what the heck I'm gonna hop on here I'm gonna do a YouTube video so I don't have to type out the story and all that 20 times to everybody who is um, messaging me asking me about my breast reduction so yeah today's video is going to be about my breast reduction so a little backstory <clears throat> For all you guys that don't really know me, um, I have been wanting to get a breast reduction for several, several years now, and um, we'll just say I had extremely large, uncomfortable breast um, to begin with. I, I before I had my first kid, who is um, almost seven years old now, I was a triple D. And then after having her and then my three other kids back to back, I got up to a 36i. Yeah. <laughs> I got up to a 36i and no matter how much weight I lost, I um, could never get my boobs back to a normal size. And for the last several years, I've been having problems after problems with my breast. Um, pain in my back, pain in my neck, um, you name it, it, it was, it, it was bad. Um, so I decided a couple months ago to, um, start looking into a breast reduction surgery and come to find out that I went to a doctor that I felt really comfortable with after doing some research on him. Um, then I went for a consultation and come to find out they, my insurance would accept it and deemed it medically necessary. So I got my breast reduction um, just two days ago on Friday, July 21st. And today is Sunday, um, July 23rd. So my insurance deemed it medically necessary given the um, size of my body and the size of my breast and the medical problems I have been having ever since, um, having these rather large breasts. <laughs> um, so we decided to go ahead and book the appointment and we booked it, um, I think it was like a month or two out just so I could kind of get through my summer and get through some trips that I went on earlier in the summer and um, all of that fun stuff. So I had my surgery just a couple days ago and um, I was I was really nervous at the beginning before my surgery, you know, obviously going under and what to expect and you know, am I going to regret this? What are people going to say? What are people going to think? But I kind of just came to the conclusion that I'm not doing, I didn't do this for vain reasons for, Hey, look at me, look at my body. Um, I'm a mom of four. I'm a pretty modest woman and honestly my body is not for me to flaunt for everybody in the world to see. But with the size of my breast of what they were, um, my self confidence was was horrible. Um, no matter how much weight I lost, I got down about a year ago. I got down to my smallest size since high school, and I still was not happy because these did not change any. My size clothing um, did not change any, and I just no matter what I could what I would do, I just I I couldn't get to the point where I was satisfied. So we went ahead and decided to go forward with the surgery. So I went in Friday morning 
um, around 10 o'clock and they did all the pre-op stuff, um, got me ready for surgery. My husband was there with me. Um, the doctor came in and he drew all over my boobs and like, you know, marked them up and, you know, did all the lines that he needed to do. And then the anesthesiologist came back in, gave me a margarita, as they call it, your pre, um, pre-sedation drug, I guess. So just to relax you and calm your nerves. Um, they rolled me back to the OR and I remember just, um, talking to the OR nurse, showing her my, oh, you can't see it, showing her my tattoo, which y'all can't see, talking about my kids, and then I remember waking up in recovery. And I was so scared, I was going to be in so much pain, and it was just going to be horrible. Um, I had a tubal... Uh, last year and that was the most pain I've ever been in granted. I am in Not a ton of pain with my breast reduction surgery, but I am definitely incredibly incredibly sore um, So like doing arm movements like this or like I basically cannot raise my hands up any further than this without it hurting it kind of just pulls and it hurts and it's extremely sore so I've been staying on top of my um, medicine that the doctor gave me just so I don't start to get into any extreme pain now my biggest issue right now is I do have four little kids and keeping them away from me and keeping our two big dogs away from me um, I cannot lift anything over eight pounds right now um, and all of my kids are bigger than that um, and it's sad because they'll come up to me and want me to hold them and I, I can't. So I think that's one of my biggest issues right now and just kind of being uncomfortable. Um, so my surgery was two days ago, so I'm two days out and I finally got to take a shower today. I could have taken one yesterday, but when we took all the um, gauze and uh, redressed it I was feeling really incredibly nauseous and sick that I just I couldn't take a shower at the time so um, today I got to finally take a shower and clean this stinky body um, and, and look human again even though I'm sitting here in pajamas but that's okay so um it's basically not as bad as I thought it was gonna be Definitely really sore like I've already said um, Some pain under this side where the incision is I'm not sure if it's getting infected or if it's just that deep of an incision Where the stitches are um, I go back to the doctor today Sunday I think I go on Tuesday for them to check it out and make sure everything is looking good um, Let's see so when I undressed today and took all the bandages off and I really looked into the mirror, I cried. Um, ah, there I go again. Because this is such, this has been such a huge, huge, huge deal for me. Um, like I kind of mentioned before, to look in the mirror, and to not only see, but feel this huge difference. This is the biggest change I've ever done to my body. <clears throat> and the boobs, they're all mine. It was just, there's no implants or anything like that. It's, they're all mine. They're just back to life. <laughs> um... So yeah, I had been watching a few other YouTube videos and one of my friends, um, Tam, over at Hall & Co, which I can link her below, in one of her update videos from her breast reduction, she got emotional on it too. And I was, remember watching it, watching it and I was just like, man, I hope I can feel that way one day. And I did. I do. Um, now I can already tell you going bra shopping is going to be an emotional wreck for me. 
Um, I've been wearing the wrong size bras for the past six years because I refuse to pay a hundred plus bucks for one bra. And who wants to wear a big bra that's a 30 year old should not be wearing? So anyways, let's see. Just other than just a little bit of soreness and um, limited mobility in my arms and um, all of that, it's really been good and I will insert pictures here at the end um, of, so you guys can see they are not the prettiest right now, but I have full faith that once they heal, the scarring will be better and just keep in mind these pictures were taken 24 hours after my surgery. So I took these pictures yesterday. Um, so in each boob, they took about three pounds out. Um, so about six pounds altogether, and that's huge. And I couldn't be more excited. So anyways, I'm going to end that here. I'm going to go ahead and insert some of those pictures. I will come back in a couple of days and give you um, another update as to how I am doing and how I am recovering. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or, you know, whatever, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to answer those in my next video. But until then, we'll talk to you later. Bye.